Oh, I'm losing my voice. This is the one time I didn't actually make a cup of coffee before I was going to film a lip video because I was I was logical about it. I thought, no, Lisa, because you're doing lip swatches and B, you've run out of coffee pods. But my voice is going. I mean, one of those things where, like, every morning I wake up and think I'm coming down with a cold and then it never happens. So, I don't know. I feel like it's just going to hit me at one point. Hi, guys. Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. So... Today's video, as you know, is all about lipsticks, and if you've clicked, then you know it's fully about MAC lipsticks. So, if you are unaware, um, every year for Christmas, MAC brings out their like a lip kit, I think it's every year, it's definitely the past two years. They've done like a lip kit as part of their Christmas collection, which is like their top 10 best sellers, but in like the mini lipstick form. And I was lucky enough this year to receive that for Christmas. Um, if you want to know what else I received this Christmas, then I do have a what's what I got for Christmas video, so I'll link that somewhere so you can have, take a look at that. But yes, I got that this year, so I thought what I would do is I would swatch all of these, try them out, and let you know what ones I love, what ones are not quite for me, um, or don't quite suit my skin tone, and like my general thoughts on their top 10 bestsellers. I love a good MAC lipstick. I have so many, and yeah, they're just like tried and true, they are hyped for a reason. They are just generally very, very good. Um, however, there are definitely a couple of shades in here which aren't quite my personal cup of tea, um, and there are some that I have head over heels fallen in love with and will probably end up buying a full size version eventually because I'm that obsessed. Um, what I will say is, uh, with the mini lipsticks, I was a little bit concerned that they were going to be too mini or that they wouldn't really be usable because of their size. Not an issue, they're perfectly usable. The little minis are a really good way to kind of try out shades that you potentially don't know if you really want to fully commit to, see if they actually suit you. And then, like I said, there's a couple in here that I've been only and ironing about for like a couple of years. And I'm so glad I finally got to test them out because I can kind of now be like, yes, I love it. I want to all be like, it's not quite my thing. Um, so yes, that's what we're going to be doing today. I've swatched them all on me. I'm going to swatch them on my arm as I talk through it as well. Um, and we will kind of see which ones I love and which ones I'm not that fussed about. Um, what I will say is this is obviously very subjective to my skin tone and what I think suits me. There are other ones, there are some in here that I don't particularly like that I've seen look beautiful on other people with different skin tones. So I think it just obviously depends. It's very subjective. So this is obviously my own opinion on what suits me. But yes, we're going to go through this. Um, there are two that I do already have full size versions of, but I'm still going to tell you what I think about them. The rest are all new to me. And yeah, that's all we're going to do. We're going to test all of these out. We're going to try them on, we're going to play with lipsticks, which is basically my favourite thing to do in the entire world. So this video is amazing to me. Anyway, I'm going to start rambling. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which is your favourite out of all of these or what your favourite MAC lipstick is at all. Um, I would love some recommendations to try out some more. Just saying. Um, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And without further ado, let's throw on the lipsticks. Okay, so we will start with, we're just going to go along along the road because that's the most logical thing to do and the first one in the set is snob now this is one that i kind of looked at before and kind of already thought it might not be my kind of shade um it is one of their satin lipsticks their satin formula is my favorite of all of their formulas i just think they're so creamy they're so lovely but the shade itself isn't quite my cup of tea you can see here it is a very pale kind of bubblegum type pink um yeah, it is very kind of pale pinky so I do think for me personally it's far too pale it doesn't quite suit me however I have seen pictures of people wearing this and they look stunning so I think it just does depend on your preference and your skin tone but the formula it's a satin formula like I said they're so creamy and because they're not matte they're not too dry although there's a couple of mattes in here that are brilliant the retro mattes are so dry um, and yeah, so it's really, really creamy, but it lasts really well on the looks because it has that satinness to it, so it's not so creamy or shiny that it just kind of comes off very easily or just wipes off like a normal kind of creamier, glossier <laughs> lipstick would do. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so they, the satin lipsticks themselves have a really good wear time. They're very comfortable to wear. They're very easy to apply. Just this particular shade snob is not my cup of tea. It's not my favourite, personally. And then we go on to one that is a favourite. <laughs> And it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is Twig, and this is one of those shades that I have been umming and ahhing about 
for so long and I've seen it in sh like in like shops and stuff and I've gone in and I just haven't purchased it and I'm now kicking myself because I flipping love it. It is a number one of these satin formulas. It's a very kind of nudey cool toned pink shade. It's basically like my favourite kind of a nude shade. It's like my favourite kind of a lipstick shade, full stop. I flipping love this. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. I have worn this so much since I've got it and it is, because it is the satin formula, it's got a really good wear time. It's very, very comfortable to wear, very easy to apply. It just glides on, it's super, super creamy. Um, and this particular shade I'm obsessed with. I will definitely be picking up a full size version of this because I feel like this is gonna be, oh, that's not very straight, is it? <laughs> like this is gonna be an absolute winner for me and it's gonna be a staple for me because it is just one of those lipsticks that I think I could just wear all year round, whenever, for so many different looks and I'm obsessed with it. So I feel like I will be getting a full size version of this. It's always having to have a full size and then a mini in case you lose one, but yeah, twig, I'm obsessed with. I love it. How many times have I said obsessed about that one lipstick? So this next one I hadn't actually really heard a lot about, so I was kind of a bit like, oh, okay. Didn't realise this was in, in their top 10 bestsellers, but it is called C Sheer, and it's one of their lustre formulas. Now, I do like their lustre formulas. One of my favourites, um, Syrup, is a lustre one, but it does mean that it is a lot sheerer. You don't get as much pigment from it. It's a lot glossier, so there isn't as long a wear time as something like the satins or the mattes. But this is very pretty. This one surprised me because I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to feel about it. But it does look very, very pretty. It's kind of like a peachy coral, which is kind of like my favourite kind of coral. Like, really orangey corals I'm not a big fan of. I think it's because I've got more of like a neutral pinky undertone to my skin so something that is a little bit peachy just complements it so well and this is so pretty at the moment at this time of the year, I'm not getting a huge amount of wear from it but I think as soon as we hit spring or summer I'm gonna wear this so much because it is it's so so nice it's not like too in your face coral either it's very kind of nice and natural it's just really really pretty this one surprised me it's definitely not one I think I would have Looked at their website at the description and being like, oh yeah, want me some of that. Um, like you do with a lipstick. <laughs> but it is definitely one that I think is super, super pretty and I'm excited to wear this more in the warmer months. I think it will be an absolute staple then. Okay, so moving on, we have, this is number four. This is Relentlessly Red. Now this is one that I do already have a full size version of. I got it around three or four, no, it must have been longer. I must have got it like five years ago because I was still living at home at that point. Um, and I actually got it at the same time as Ruby Woo, which is also in here, and we'll come on to that in a minute. Um, it's not red, first of all. I don't understand why they called it Relentlessly Red, because it's not red. Um, this is one of their retro mattes, and you will be able to see from like where how I'm applying it um, in like the cutaway. It is The retro mattes are hard to apply. They really kind of drag on the lips. They're not my like favourite formula. They are the longest wearing lipsticks in the world. Like I will say that. They do not budge. But the formula is just way too drying for me personally. Um, having said that, I still wear Ruby all the time. Um, this particular colour is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's stunning. When I first got it, I was very, very confused because it wasn't red. But then I was kind of delighted because it is so gorgeous. It's definitely more of a summery pinky shade. It's very kind of bright. It really pops. And it looks beautiful with like a like a brownie smoky like natural eye it looks really really pretty just having this to like pop I'm gonna be honest I don't wear it that much it's I'm not I kind of moved away in recent years when I was say like two three years ago I was all about bright pinks and um, throughout summer but the past like two three years I've kind of moved away from like really bright pinks I don't really wear them at all so I haven't really gotten much wear out of it recently but it is a very, very pretty colour. I do think if you like your bright pinks, this is a good one. Just obviously be very aware that because of the formula, the retro matte formula, if you do have dry lips, make sure you really condition them before you want to wear this because it is going to show up every kind of wrinkle or crack or crevice in your lips and it will drag. And then moving on to Ruby Woo, because we were talking about it anyway, it's also next to it, so it is number five, so it's logical. Um, this is also a retro matte formula. So as, again, again with a cutaway you're going to see, I really struggle to apply this one. But um, Ruby Woo is probably one of the most well-known MAC lipsticks out there. Like, everybody talks about Ruby Woo and it is like the red lip. And it is lovely. I really like it and for years I've worn it religiously as my red lip. I mean, you can see there it does drag 
with the formula and you would have seen that in the cutaway. It is your standard red lip, it's like your typical red beautiful kind of Hollywood glamour lip. It is stunning and it suits so many different skin types, like I haven't really met anybody or seen anybody wear this that it doesn't suit, I think it just suits everybody which is why it's so popular. It is beautiful. I love Ruby Woo. I've worn it so much over the years. Like I said, it is my go-to red. I have recently discovered Russian red as well, which I also really, really like, and I'm still on the fence about which I prefer. Russian red is a little bit dark, like deep darker than this, I think, just a touch. So at the moment, I'm going more towards Russian red just because of the time of year. But Ruby Woo is a beautiful red, and I do think I would always say if you get any red from MAC, go for Ruby Woo, it's a classic for a reason, it's stunning, people love it, and it just looks beautiful. Okay, moving on, so we're halfway through, next five. So the next one we have is another pink, and this is one of the Amplified Cream Lipsticks, which I hadn't tried before this. They definitely, or this particular shade does have a very kind of metallic finish to it, and it's kind of surprised me, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. This is Show Orchid. It's a very kind of bright pink, I don't really know how to like explain it without showing. It's a very kind of 70s pink, a little bit deeper than something like Pink Nouveau, which I also have, and it does have more of like a metallic finish to it. This really surprised me because I didn't think I was going to like it, but I kind of like it. I kind of like put it on and I was like, oh, I think I like this. I think I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm still not sure about it, but I think I like it. Um, it's kind of Again, it's something that I wouldn't naturally reach for, I don't think. Um, like I said, pinks is something that I have kind of moved away from recently. But it is a very pretty colour. I think if you do like, again, your bright pinks, this is a really, really nice one. Okay, moving on. This is another one of those shades that I have ummed and ahed about for years. And a few years ago, this had a real moment. Everybody had this shade. And I kind of copped out and went for Plumful, which is kind of like a sheerer, lighter version. Um, but this is Rebel. It is one of their satins, so again, love the formula already, um, and it is, oh it's got one of my hairs in it, delightful, a very kind of deep plummy purple. It is beautiful. It's not quite me though, I don't think. I've kind of worn it a couple of times and I've not been a hundred percent sure on it. It was one I thought when I eventually got it I would love and I'd be kicking myself, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I have seen other people that look stunning with this, and even people with similar like skin tones or depths to me look really pretty, and I do think it's a great winter tone, I just think maybe it's a little bit too purpley for me. I think I prefer something that's a little bit more browny berry, or like reddy berry. I think I prefer like red berries than purple berry tones, um, which is just kind of my preference, but it is nice. It's a beautiful shade. The formula, as I said, is satin, so it's beautiful. Um, it's like my favourite formula, as I said, um, but the shade itself is very pretty. I'm a little bit on the fence about it at the moment. I'm definitely going to play around with it a little bit more and see how I feel. Um, but I don't love this as much as I thought I was going to love it, which was surprising. Oh, my back hurts. I need to get a proper chair while I'm doing this. Okay, and then we have another one of those that everybody raves about. Everybody loves it. It's a classic. And it's one of those that I haven't bought it because everybody loves it. I don't know why I do this, but that's what I do. If something is raved about too much, I'm kind of like, I don't want it, because everybody's talking about it, and everybody has it. But, back in, last January, I was on jury service, and there was a girl that was on the jury with me, and she religiously wore two MAC lipsticks. One of them was Retro, which I did pick up after seeing her on it so much, and it was stunning. I've spoken about it before, it was beautiful. And the other one was this one, and there were so many times I looked, and I thought, oh, I kind of want, I really want it. I don't want it, I really want it, I don't want it. And I've got it. And I love it, and I wish I got it earlier. <laughs> it is Velvet Teddy, of course, it's like the nude colour from MAC. I think it's the one that everybody went mad about because of Kylie Jenner. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. Um, it is your standard kind of pale nude. It is one of the matte formulas, but it's a very comfortable matte. Like, the retro mattes really drag and they're very hard to kind of apply. The normal mattes are actually really nice, and they're very kind of similar in kind of application to the satin ones, I would say. They obviously have, it has a matte finish, it is very kind of brownie nude, so if you don't like your brownie nudes, obviously this one isn't going to be for you. I never used to like my brownie nudes, but in the past year I've really gone into them. I don't know what happened to me, but I've really gone into my brownie nudes, I really like them. Um, and this is stunning, it's so pretty, it is kind of turned into my go-to for 
everyday wear if I'm kind of got like a really big smoky eye and I don't really want anything on my lips then this would generally be what I turn to right now it is beautiful I love it because it's matte as well it lasts really really well it's just stunning I don't know why I haven't I don't know why I didn't pick this up before because I was being stubborn but it's beautiful I really really like it it's this and twig I think are like my favorite of the set so far that we have spoken about um but yeah velvet teddy so nice kicking myself that I was too stubborn to pick it up before if you're in the same position as me and you think oh I want it but I don't think I do because everybody else has it just pick it up because it's amazing even if you just get a mini that's fine like just to try it out get a mini one um I will probably be picking up a full size okay so next we've only got two left we're almost there so the next one is one that I I'd heard of but I hadn't really wasn't that bothered about it but I wore it in my what I got for Christmas video actually and I love it um, it is chilly. It's a very different red to what I've tried before. It's very kind of brown toned. I feel like the best way I can describe it is like it's a burnt kind of an orangey red? Brownie red? I don't really know, but it's very different. If you look at something like Ruby Woo compared to it, there's obviously a big difference between the two reds, but I really like chilli. I feel like it's something a little bit different. It's something that I haven't, I don't have in anything else. Like I've and I've never seen anything else like it before it's a very kind of yeah it's different and I like it and I found that actually I looked really really nice with my skin tone and I was a big fan of this so this one was a huge surprise for me I wasn't I don't know what I was expecting with this one I was like maybe I like it maybe I won't it's a bit brownie don't know how I feel about browns um she says after she fell in love with Velvet Teddy um but I really really like it it's very nice it really surprised me and I think if there was one out of all of these that surprised me the most, it was definitely Chilli. Um, Twig and Velvet Teddy I was kind of expecting to like because I've looked at them before, I've swatched them before, I kind of knew I would like them. Chilli I wasn't that bothered about, this one was like a huge surprise to me, I really like it. And then last but not least, we have the darkest out of all of them. It's a little dark one right at the top here. Um, this is Diva and it's one of their matte lipsticks. Again, I've heard of Diva, it's not one I kind of was drawn to because it's so dark. It's a really kind of dark, purpley brown. I am so on the fence about this because I feel like I love it. When I put it on, I'm just like, oh, this is so beautiful. But I don't know when I'd wear it. This is my issue with it. It just looks so incredible. It's beautiful. And you'll see from like, the cutaway, it's like, I don't know about you, but I really like it on me. I think it looks great. Um, obviously this is going to be really good for like your darker skin tones. If you are really pale, this is going to obviously look very, very dark on you. Um, but again, this is one that surprised me because I didn't really know much about it before it was in this pack. But I really like it. It's definitely a purpley brown. It's not too purple. Like Rebel is definitely too purple for me. This one is more kind of like the purpley that I would want. <laughs> like more of a berry tone. It's a very kind of deep berry. I love my berry tones as long as they're not too purple. Um, and yeah, I really, really liked the year actually. It was a another kind of surprise that I really liked. And yeah, it was good. Okay, so that is all of them. That is all 10. Out of all of them, I would definitely say Twig, Velvet Teddy and Chili are like my top three. Three. They are my absolute favourites out of the whole bunch. Those are the three that I've definitely worn the most, I would say, since I've had this. And those are the three that if I had to pick, say, I want full sizes of these, I would go for those three. That would be my recommendation. If you pick up any of these, definitely try out Verva Teddy and Twig. I feel like those would really, really suit people. If you want something a little bit different than these bottom two, Chili and Diva, definitely check them out because they are beautiful. And that is it. That is the uh, entire collection. All well, their top 10 tested and tried out. I had a lot of fun doing this. I like playing lipsticks anyway, but I did have a lot of fun doing this and doing all the swatches and stuff. It's not something that I usually do. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Again, let me know what your favourite matte lipstick is below because I definitely want to try them out even if they're in here. Still let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And without further ado, no. Not without forever ado. And without forever ado, I'm going to go and make coffee, but I can't because I've got no coffee pods. <laughs> without forever ado, I'm going to lay it on with your day. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.